Psycho I'm trying. Avenger. Come on, get up and do the segment. The people want it. The people want it? Yes. Do the people want it? Do the people love it? Do the people like when I get up here? So, uh, really quick. <laughs> Such a turd. And so, real quick, before we get into it, though, and this is not the video that we're going to play first, uh, is this the Golden Tape? All right, for sure. So going into this game, when Golden Tate played for the Seahawks, he had a nasty um, back block on Sean Lee. Um, took him out for the rest of the season. And so coming into this game, the whole Cowboys um, had a bounty on Golden Tate head. And this is the first play. This is how we started this game off. Let's start it. Uh, right now, um, they're in the 4-3, and they're in the sub-4-3 defense. Run the play. You know, that play action to me really, you know, made them bite down on it. And then on the very first play, boom. Oh, first pass play. Let's go. Run it. Takes it six yards to the house. Come on now. <laughs> There's no Bonnie on his head. And one thing about Golden Tate, he's one of the most explosive players I play with. He has this switch that he can just hit. Um, another guy that um, had a good game this game and one of, the, one of our playmakers on offense right here is Reggie Bush. Um, right now we're still in the first quarter. Last two minutes we're up seven zip and we're trying to kind of run away with the game. And um, that's exactly what he does. Play it for us real quick. They're in their nickel defense. And Reggie Vision is so good in a way that he's able to make people miss. Um, and we knew going into this game, uh, they were going to be led by um, their star players on defense, Brandon Carr, Sean Lee, um, Orlando Skandrick. And he just made Orlando Skandrick, one of their star players, look like, ugh. Can I call a timeout just for a second? Yes. Joyke Bell was the best running back in that game. He's too modest to say it, but he, no. Joyke Bell was, yes, you no. were. Yes, we, you were. We I got the numbers that back it up if you want. I have more carries. So you don't just, want any? You don't want? I have more carries. So okay, you ready? I, I, I got to bring this up. I have more carries, though. Joyke Bell, 12 carries for 43 yards. Joyke Bell, four receptions for 42 yards. Reggie Bush, eight carries for 37 yards and three receptions for 10 yards. I'll take, I'll take Joyke Bell's production, but All right. he's too modest. All right. Back. So right now they're in that 4-3 uh, sub defense. Here we go, run and play. And we knew going into this game that uh, we can win in space against this team. We wanted to get our run game going early. And uh, we knew that eventually in this game that we wanted to get the running backs out into the open and get us in the open field. Uh, a little friendly fire against a good friend of mine, Brandon Carr. Um, another play that really helped us out with um, the golden leg, getting the unnecessary roughness on him, give us that first down. And um, we really wanted to get the, um, the screen game going because I felt like when, I, when we played, we are one of the best screen teams in the league. Um, the way we were able to set it up, we just had a great feel with the O-line and, 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 and Stafford arm and, and all the receivers, we were able to kind of pause for a second. Let's rewind it back. Just about just a little bit. Beginning of this play, just a little bit. Um, one thing that we wanted to do was get the running backs out into the open, and we felt that with the screen game, we were probably the best team in the NFL with running screens. And that was in my opinion, and we had the numbers to back it up. Um, but we was able to mix it up with the run game as well, hit play. They over pursued. Uh, I was able to cut back door. Um, great job with letting the, the, the play develop. Great job by the offensive lineman. I was able to read it. Um, being able to uh, make a guy miss in the hole, which is very difficult to do, but uh, I should have got more out of this play. Um, next play right here will be me just running a route, trying to get an open field to, to catch a ball to get an open. And we wanted to make all of our plays the open field because we felt that we we were better than their uh, than their linebackers, and so another screen play right here is what we did. This game was definitely our game, but we had a lot of plays that we left something. We left a little meat on the bone, and so the only way to to, to alleviate this bad call and picking up this flag pause right here is by us capitalizing on all the other plays throughout the game, right? So when it comes time for plays like this, this won't decipher or decide. Uh, the end, um, the end goal of the um, of the game. So everyone was mad about it. 
I mean, I mean, even Obama talked about it and said that he's never seen a call like this. He's never seen anything happen like this, where they call a pass interference and they pick the flag up and they wave the flag. I mean, it was it was defensive holding it at the beginning of the play, face guarding right here before they absolutely before blatant. they banned it before they banned it, and then they missed three calls because now you also had um, Daz Bryant running out into the field with his helmet off, arguing with the ref. There was three calls that they missed. But we didn't speak on it. I never said anything about it in interviews because I wasn't I wasn't going to be that guy um, because I knew that we had opportunities to win throughout the game. And even after this play, we still had another opportunity to go down the score to take the lead, and we didn't do it. So um, this is another segment with Balling with Bell. And before we go, let's hear what Matthew Stepper had to say about this. Hey, Pete, that's unbelievable. That's unbelievable, and you know it. You know it is, though. I know. How does that get overturned? How does that get overturned?